Guys, are you tired of slipping on these darn metal steps? We are. Ooh. We're going to show you how to fix this problem very inexpensively. guys so you're going to see we're going to take it get rid of this metal with the cheap grip tape on it and we're going to do this it's super simple to do so we just happened to put carpet in our house to sell it so i had some leftover pieces of carpet so what i'm going to do is basically you're going to measure your width of your, your step and you're going to make sure it's that wide. These particular steps are 24 inches wide. Then what I did was I actually measured the top. They're one inch here, so I got 10 inches to wrap around there. And I added in, I didn't go another complete 10 inches. I actually took about an inch off. And you'll see why I do that here in the next step. So you can get this, get remnants at the department stores. You can get remnants, cut off pieces at, um, company called Ollie's they they're like a bargain shopping uh, store uh, where they buy buy out stuff that are, companies are going bankrupt and stuff like that so you can buy pieces of carpet fairly inexpensive uh, around the areas so what we're gonna do is you need the you need we have three steps so I need three pieces that are 24 inches wide and I went with a 17 inch depth so that it does wrap around and go underneath now what you're going to do is under the underneath part, which I'll show you in a little bit, all you're going to get is you're going to get yourself some zip ties. Um, and they will actually get zip tied. I zip tied mine in three spots, just middle and then on the ends to give it a nice solid surface to it. Now, for us, this is realistically a bad color because it's light. So more than likely it's going to be replaced in the very near future. But the good thing is, you can buy this very inexpensively. Um, even if you bought it brand new from uh, the department stores, this was 68 cents for a, a square foot. So realistically, for a few dollars uh, and a couple dollars for zip ties, you can have yourself a very inexpensive step. It's going to save you from save you a lot of money compared to the ones that are out on the market where they're cut to fit and, and they're for the campers. Uh, you're paying well over twice the amount that you're going to have invested in doing it this way. So what you're going to do to prep your your pad is you need a razor knife, a sharp, make sure it's sharp, just be very careful. And you're going to go in about an inch at the very at, towards the end about an inch and in and an inch or two in this way. And all you're going to do is you're going to push through the width of that blade. So that way you have a spot that your your zip tie can come out uh, can can slip through. Do the same thing here about an inch in and I'm going to just push right through it. If you have a super sharp blade you won't have to worry about trying to push and and hurt hurt yourself. So all you're doing is just pushing it straight through about an inch in again like that the whole way into that blade thickness. Same thing here about an inch in and it doesn't realistically it doesn't have to be exact because it's you're not going to see it and all, these, all this is doing is giving me a spot to slide my zip tie through. This carpet isn't realistically what we want to use on the external of the camper. Um, the only reason I'm using it is because I had some left over and it was either pay to throw it in the trash and pay to get rid of it or just use it up and uh, at least get some use out of it. Uh, now, I'm going to show you something. I, I purposely cut this a little bit too long. It's very important with folding steps that you cut it and leave yourself a little bit of room because when I fold this up, you can see that it's going to start interfering. If When I fold it in again, it's now everything's starting to crush inward. So you want to keep it where you're in just a little bit so that when these fold in, you're not going to get it where it's, it's trying to push on the carpet and, and damage your carpet for you. The first one's a little more difficult to get to because you have to work everything underneath 
and work it through. That's why I already did that one. I'm, I'm going to show you on the, the bottom two. It's actually easier to get it laid in there and then with the way these fold inward, now if I fold it in, now I can work out here instead of being trying to work underneath of it. So you're going to see that you have your handle here. You want to make sure when you do your zip ties that you go behind the handle. And all you're going to do is you're going to find your hole. You're going to push that zip tie through. You're going to bring it around. You may need to use two depending upon how wide your step is and how sh and the distance between. See my zip ties are just a little too short. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to run this zip tie. I'm going to double up on my zip ties. So I'm going to put it through there because these are too short. And then I'm going to run this one in a little bit. You don't want to go in way far because you don't you, you got to make sure you don't have it too short. So then you feed it through that one, go behind your handle. Go behind your handle and then all you're going to do is as you tighten as you tighten this up, what's going to happen is see how it's fluffy right now? as you tighten this up it's actually going to pull on it for you and get it nice and, and taut like so get them nice and tight we're going to do the same thing for the other two. Oh yeah I almost Aaron caught me there <laughs> almost went over my handle you don't want to over tighten it because what you'll do then is you'll rip your carpet. So if you get yourself a little bit longer zip ties, these are 8 inches long. So if you get yourself about a 10 inch or 12 inch long zip tie, you only have to use one and it'll be a lot easier to do. I'm just going to pull these in here like so. And then what you'll see, bring this back out, you'll see you got yourself a nice flat pad here, okay? Now the last step you're going to do on that carpet pad is find your knife. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut, I'm going to leave about a half an inch of that zip tie there. And I'm just going to cut, once again, if you have a sharp, a sharp blade, you don't have to do any kind of shearing or cut a scissor or back and forth you can just cut it and that's what you're going to have now the only once again coming back to it the only downside to not having an all-weather I recommend getting an all-weather carpet uh, just because this is going to get dirty quick if we get caught in a rainstorm we get caught in back roads uh, where there's dirt and dust flying and those car these carpet pads are wet you can see there's no protection so they are going to get dirty sort of sort of quick but for for us in this particular situation right now this was free we got ourselves carpet pads for free on the steps and when simply when they go when they do get dirty and you want to replace them all you got to do is cut 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 throw them in the trash and you can do it over again so there's the first one and the second one i'm going to go ahead and just repeat the same step for the third step and uh, we'll be finished at that point. I'll show you here in a minute when the last one's done. All right, so I got them all on, all three of them, and folds up super nicely, like so. Now, there is also another benefit to using carpet on your step. There is a, a technical term that Basically, if you were to get a short in your system somewhere and your ground is not properly grounded when, with your frame and everything, um, you basically have a hot box where any metal that is attached to the frame then becomes hot, meaning there is current running through it. So by having carpet on a carpet pad of some sort on your metal steps, if for some reason you would have that malfunction of a, a loose ground wire anywhere in the, in the electronic system, 
and your children or you or your wife or your other half would happen to be barefoot and step onto the metal, they could get shocked. Where here, you at least have a non-conductive material on the step so that they're not going to get shocked barefoot. Thank you, carpet guy. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we have links right above me here on both sides to more of our videos of videos that you'll like over on the one side and other videos for our how to's on the other side. Make sure you subscribe, hit the subscribe button and turn the no notification on. And thanks for watching.